Buongiorno, a better buono notte, it's already dark outside. My soccer universe, yes, I'm shooting them all in the, in the dark, but you know, that's how it goes. But we are here at the second part of the Serie A jersey review for the 21-22 season. Um, a video that features probably my two, my absolute 100% favorite Serie A team plus my uh, secretly second uh, team, not secretly, I always said Roma is my second team, but of course you see it already on my chair here and up there Milan, 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 it's all about Milan in this household for me, even my kids <laughs> know very well. That I'm a Milan fan together with Lask, of course. But yeah, uh, my two favorite teams in Serie A are in this video uh, paired with three very interesting offerings uh, from a little bit smaller teams. And I decided yeah, I'm not gonna wear Milan, I'm gonna wear Hellas Verona, which I think is a really uh, nice shirt. This, this one, in case you haven't realized it, this is a V for Verona here on the neck. Smart design, that's maybe not. Too obvious. Also the old Verona crest, we see the new one in here. So uh, having said that, my two favorite teams, how did I choose to put my two favorite teams in one video? Well, I necessarily didn't choose it. I took last season standings and then I went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Every team with a number two next to it is in this video and then I sort the teams in the video how I call them. So we'll start with Empoli, then we come to Hellas, although I mostly say Verona, but I think Hellas and then Milan and so on and so on. Forth. We have quite a few jerseys in here and at least one jersey we have to talk a whole lot about so we better get started and we'll start at a promoted team from Empoli who are with Kappa and I think the last time I reviewed them they were also with Kappa uh, who you know it's a nice Kappa shirt I uh, like the color everything about it maybe uh, Ignore the plate of football because that's where a football where I could find it. Uh, by the way, most of the pictures I have is actually from uh, footy headlines, but I also check other sources in the internet to get the pictures. But in this case, yeah, I couldn't find another nice picture, so ignore that one on the bottom. But the sponsors to me are a little bit too colorful, especially the Computer Gross. Well, I think it is a nice sponsor, but if it was all invited, it would uh, look better. And then the Empoli crest, which honestly I do not find the most appealing one. This is actually one of the more uh, disappointing crests in Serie A to me. Take second stage. Yes, it is centered, but the eye goes automatically to the San Montana logo with, uh, you know, is an ice cream cone that is licking his its lips. So uh, that's kind of a little bit weird. I, I would have at least, I know I'm all for full color crest, but we're having only two colors maybe invert it here and I think it would have looked a little bit better and I still like the old Empoli crest better where they had the little cathedral on the back this one just looks uh, too plain so a lot of things that I say down the middle but there is one design element that I absolutely love and you can already guess what it is it's the friggin big lion on, to on the jersey front that makes it kind of one of those jerseys. Yeah, maybe I should try to get this one. Although I know Empoli will probably not uh, be too easy, but you know, there is a chance for doing it. The problem is uh, there are already too many blue jerseys, jer jer so maybe that's another thing. But yeah, that lion um, tips the scales upwards in many ways, uh, but we're not going seven star territory. It's only a six star for me. The away jersey is pretty much a straight reversal, and maybe that one is the one to go, because here the Empoli crest, you can see quite nicely, has also a slightly different sponsor here uh, on the uh, right with Saint-Gobain, which actually looks uh, a little bit better. It's not as eye-catching. Again, the computer grows too many colors, but there is a big lion on there. Uh, actually, this one I like better. I would go here in the seven star territory for sure. And then the third jersey, uh, I think it's the same thing in uh, blackish with gray. And you already see when I, when I say gray with black, yeah, yeah, full color sponsor, but you cannot see the Empoli crest. And again, it's the Sanko Bayon there. And I think there is a lion somewhere hidden there as well. Um, the picture doesn't really do a uh, a good job in showing off the jersey very, very, very well. But I have had to say everything here points kind of, yeah, I've every sure church in the middle. I, even though there's probably a lion on there, I'm only gonna go four stars. I'm not a big favor, uh, a favorite, uh, in, not a big uh, fan, I wanted to say, 
of this color combination, especially with the sponsor thrown in there as well. From Empoli, Tuscany, we go up to the Veneto to Elas. And while Hellas, uh, El I think it's called Elas in Italy. Um, while they had mostly blue and classic looking jerseys, as, as, as of, I mean, this is the classic uh, Verona look in many ways. Uh, this time they try to add a little bit more yellow and then a full over print on the front of the jersey, which is very ornate, which I actually like. But to me, it's kind of a little bit too much contrast. The, if this was an all blue jersey with that print on and you see the modern crest, which I actually think is quite smart. You just take the Mastiff logo that is uh, here and I let it breathe by, by, by itself and you have kind of the V for Verona. I think that's pretty uh, cool. And then the ladder, which is a, a symbol of the city of Verona. Uh, so I do like the new logo quite some and it's already second season that we have the, the yellow sleeves is a little bit much to take to me. And I know I like that they do something different, but it, just, you know, this is very modern than the old fashioned look. It's like they take their, uh, if Italy would have taken the Renaissance jersey, which everyone loved, but then made the sleeve suddenly in a completely different color, like red. You know, decide on one or, or, or the other. And for that reason, yeah. Uh, this is another hard one to grade. I actually want to go five here. Uh, it, it hurts me a little bit. Now, uh, we have the away jer uh, jersey. This one I, I, I actually do like, especially with the um, uh, uh, yellow and blue specks on, on the bottom. It could use a little bit more yellow up top. Definitely. I think if you make, don't do the slivers here in other colors, but if you do, uh, make them yellow. Uh, and then maybe even, even on the color a little bit. There's too much blue up, uh, up top, but on the bottom it really looks nice and it's kind of refreshing and different. Yes, it's not uh, this Verona jersey, which I find an absolute belter, but it's a really nice uh, Verona Ellis shirt. So I'm gonna go seven, which seems to be my favorite grade. And then we have a third jersey in green. Um, same cut as the home jersey, but now it's in all green and we have the pattern only on the sleeves. So I actually think this looks a little bit smarter to be honest, a little bit more cohesive. Where the green is coming from, I am a little bit at a loss to be honest. So uh, odd color. I actually would have loved to see maybe an all yellow shirt, although that would not, would that contrast well with the blue one, whatever. But you know, green it is and it's the last time we will see it because they yeah, I will ban green jerseys so I guess they said uh, if you and I, I, I actually I need to lose a little bit of time on this green jersey ban since we are talking about green jersey I actually think it's not a bad idea I know green is nice but uh, I know that they want to probably project you have a green grass and then if a green jersey little contrast you want to make it more uh colorful in, in a way so green always needs to be paired with something else you can have a main green torso but like just purely green uh shirt doesn't work or even all green look you have to have green with some other colors to make it actually palatable for the viewer now this one adds a lot of white in 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 there that probably will not cause too many problems the problem with green is that, you know, they, of course, want to project commercials onto the pitch and uh, think of it what you want. Serie A needs money. And so don't give us green jerseys in many ways, because suddenly you would have them run through the commercials. That would look rather odd. Uh, but overall, I think it's a quite nice and pleasing jersey. Do I like it as much as the away? No, yeah, but it's, I like it better than the home. So six stars. That was pretty easy. And we are at my favorite team. And their new home jersey. Meanwhile, we've seen it quite a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. What shall I say about it? Let's start with the positive. I actually like that there's an emphasis a little bit more on red, like in this shirt. Although I like my Milan shirts to be balanced between black and red. But I do like a little bit more emphasis on the red because the last season we had a little bit too much emphasis on black. I'm actually not even against the different width stripes. I think this is, you have a striped jersey, you need to some, uh, somewhat change it up a little bit. So I understand, make differing with, it looks to me, and you know, there might others be that are uh, disagreeing with me. 
I do like this better than what they put out in 14, 15, where they also had the two tones of red, uh, two tones of red in Kalka and Kalka of India. I do like that one actually a little bit uh, bad, bad, better because it's really red and black. I also understand that you have to have the center stripe thick and then let it go thin out because in the other way it's kind of it would look like it you sucked into the, the jersey. So here it's kind of it makes uh, the, the look stronger. Those are the positives. What I do not like, uh, let's start with the easy stuff. Uh, the Emirates fly better. Get rid of the fly better. If it's just as em Emirates, it's a wonderful sponsor. The fly better does not fit. That's the first one. The second one, while it's all right to have the stripe widths go down, it's only the black stripes that go down. The red ones are almost equal width all the time, which goes, which looks a little, little bit weird. It especially looks weird that the outer stripe is just this thin line that I don't like. I think go overall that they are decreasing and I think you have a much more, more pleasing shirt. But the one thing that really looks weird, although it kind of matches up uh, with the outside size strap, is this uh, shape here on the side. Uh, it kind of looks that you're hung up on a contraption, like you have a... Um, uh, you, have, you, you have a parachute hanging on there and that is kind of weird, to be honest. So yeah. It's a little bit off. But then there are other things that I don't like. Uh, I don't like that uh, this is worn with black shorts. I don't like that this is the player version. The uh, commercial version, the replica, has a different color. The color is all red. Decide on one of the other. I actually like it uh, with the red color, maybe even a tad better. But then you see already the points are not matching up there. Uh, there is actually an even better version out there, which is the women's version that I show you here. Uh, the Banco BPM sponsor, that's the perfect Milan sponsor. I like, I actually like it. But basically, the women take the replica version, the men get the one uh, that is very lightweight and has this huge color that doesn't even look all that great. So you see already, um, yeah, I'm more on the not liking side of this one. Uh, but. I, I honestly, overall, I do not mind it. Paired with white shorts, this looks still proper Milan. However, I think Puma went out a little bit too much out there. Um, four stars. Let's say four stars there. Uh, I think if they would have a better sponsor, I would go higher. Uh, however, as not great as the um, home jerseys, I really like the away jersey. It does something different. And Puma has not been getting the away jersey right. Uh, ever since Puma said, I, I, I usually, when I look for Milan, I look for the away jersey because those are the ones that I uh, usually like best. They look the best. For once, it's not a classic away jersey. It's not white, but it is, has this kind of beige, goldenish, sandy color, which I really find attractive. And there's also a, uh, an attractive all over print, very subtle in there, like a geometric print. It's supposed to be a cityscape in a way. Uh, you know, uh, it's from Fondazione Milan where they, they have it in six cities and they kind of try to combine the maps of those six cities into one pattern or, or so on. But I have to say the jersey really looks nice. It's a little bit more heavy on the red because the only black part are the Puma cats. And then here, I wonder, could you make this one red, uh, red and uh, the sleeve cuffs black or, you know, have it alternating a little bit, the sponsor, not my favorite, you know, not already. And maybe the color could use some red and black as well. I think it would look better if all the accents that are red would be red and black. But overall, uh, I'm very much in favor of this shirt. This is, uh, I kind of have, have said, I mean, I, for some reason, I couldn't manage to get the blue shirt from last season because first I, or the bluish, it was kind of turquoise. First of all, I was, yeah, this is a color, da, 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 da. and then I said, yeah, maybe I should try to get it. And then it was already so, so, so loud, I never find it cheap. So I actually am behind this. I want to get this one. I think this is re really nice and I would love to have it with a name set, either Ibrahimovic or Kier. So I do like this shirt and it's on my wish list, 100%. 100%. It is not super perfect, but it's quite good up there. I would give this eight stars. And then we are at the third shirt. Now I have heard many opinions that this might be the best of this style Puma shirts. If I look at it and now it's Christmas approaching, it looks like a Christmas sweater with the, especially with the crest in there at the start. It looks like a Christmas sweater to me. Uh, it just looks too bare bones. 
in many ways the crest is so awesome. I mean, they all overplayed, it just looks odd. I do have to say, in play, it actually looks quite nice. But if I was wearing this one, it, I wouldn't feel that this is a soccer jersey to, 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 to wear. I also never got why AC Milan, the A, uh, looks like a Greek lambda, and, and you know, it's kind of um, hinted at. That's also something. And the last thing is, when I first heard the leaks, it was rumored that there will be a red away jersey. Now that the home, home jersey is mostly red, I understand why it's black. But the goalkeepers wear a red version of this one, and I would love to see another red uh, Milan jersey too, to be honest. Uh, I think it would be just fine. Uh, nah, I, I, it's too odd. And uh, for that reason, I, I, as I said, what saves it is that it looks well in play. It's identifiable as a Milan shirt, but there's there's too 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 many things going wrong, and I only have to can give this three stars. Milan, as far as I've seen some keep him track at the moment of all the teams that I've reviewed, Milan has the worst set so far. So uh, take that, and I'm a huge Milan fan, but I do like my Milan jerseys to look nice. Looking nice, we go of course to Roma and over history I would claim Roma always had the nicest uh, jersey sets. Uh, there is something about Roma shirts that you just cannot mess up. Now New Balance took over and I know again the picture, the way the color looks is an absolute mess. However, uh, New Balance, I can say this up front, mostly played it safe and delivered I think a pretty good looking set. I mean the home jersey classic Roma red, maybe a little bit uh, too bright, maybe, maybe not. Uh, there's a very broad pinstriping effect, very similar to the Roma jersey that I have back there. So uh, that's why I chose it for the review videos. But you know, and then a little bit of the uh, yellow in there. I actually like the sponsor. I know digital bits, whatever, da, 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 da. but you know, it looks all right. It's a little bit bare bones. That's maybe the one thing. This one, uh, it to, to me is an almost perfect 10. Here the collar, it's just a little bit too bare. It could do a little bit with the collar. But other than that, it's a really good first offering. I have to say, uh, it's if you want to come in, you don't want to mess up the brand. And I think they're, they're doing that here. That's why I'm going 8 here. Uh, the away jersey caused quite a stir upon release. But I have to say, I really like it. The one thing is that due to the template, the yellow stripe on the bottom gets a little bit too wide. And I think you could have uh, done this nicer. But I really like, yes, it's a nice white uh, jersey. But the sleeve cuffs really elevate this one. It's uh, it's definitely take take the book out of last season's home jersey. And of course, based on the uh, rainbow jersey that they, rainbowish jersey. I mean, those colors are not rainbow, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I really like that. It looks attractive, but maybe the yellow gets a little bit too much weight. I think if you have would have made it in red, orange, and then adjusted the yellow in such a way that you have almost equal width, it could have looked even a little bit better. But overall, again, rather plain, doesn't mess up and has a very nice feature. I think we gotta go nine here. Honest, on, on, honestly, it's it's as simple as it can can be, but it adds just this little bit pizzazz to make it uh, in, interesting. And if this is worn with red pants, mm, great look, great look, I would have to say. Uh, the one that I don't like was the last released jersey, uh, which is the third jersey. And I know it makes total sense to have a yellow Roma shirt, but I think they're doing a little bit too much here. Um, yellow with the blue... Um, Sleeves, I think that's fine. But do we need the sash? Do we really need the sash? I love the Lupetto crest. Also, do we need to have so much space around the Lupetto? That's another thing that I, you know, here I think that they are trying to do, it's just too much. I think either you go for the sash or you go for the sleeves. Uh, and also, you know, I know they want to connect this to the fourth shirt that, 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 that we're going to get. For some, some reason, my nose is uh, really tick, tick, tickling me. But it just doesn't quite work out as well as it could, in my opinion. And so I have to say, this is a so-and-so jersey for me. It's a little bit too messy. And for that reason, I want to go higher. But I think this is, for me, only a five-star. Uh, it just doesn't work out. But uh, it's all... Uh, relieved by a brilliant fourth shirt you know i didn't get the one two season go the dark blue one uh and i honestly have to say what i would have loved to get it 
uh, Donkey Kong. I always found the color a little, a little bit weird. Here, uh, take the, New Balance is taking the color out as a style element. It's just a plain color. So you will have now the um, yellow and the red as a pinstriping in there. And again, it is a little bit veering on trying too much here. I especially look at the sleeve cuts. It's a little uh, yellow, then a little bit red, a little bit orange in there. But uh, the navy blue uh, takes the cake for me. And also a little bit the club's colors in there. It's really nice. The crest is popping. Maybe the New Balance logo should not have been in white, but in also one of the club's colors. However, then there's a pattern on there. Yeah, the Lupetto is all over. I really do like this one. It's not a perfect 10, but it's for me uh, the most attractive of the four and I would give this a nine star rating. It's a really nice one. I know, I, I don't know whether it's sold out, 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 out or not, but I know um, I have quite a few Roma shirts. I don't have a navy one, so I would love to add a navy Roma shirt. And again, we've been talking a lot, those Serie A videos get long. Fortunately, the last one is Spezia, where I don't think we have to lose too much time uh, to be honest, because Acerbis um, are delivering very simple jerseys, ones that remind me a lot of uh, last Europa League jerseys last season. Um, again, I really loved last uh, season the sponsor with the plate and the fork and the knife. That, that was actually nice. It is a very clean look. That I have had to say, uh, the ASC uh, or ACS, um, yeah, maybe I would have liked to see a full crest on one, or on, on one of it, but it's a classic look. Then, of course, they can show that they have been in the war years, they have been crowned the champ champions. It's a decent look, but it's probably a little bit too simple, almost, although I, I wouldn't mind having one. So, um, I think I'm gonna go actually seven here. I, I do like it in a way. Uh, we have the away shirt, it's a straight reversal, but with a little bit of a shadow strapping in there that might be present in the home as well, but I, it's not as, we, yeah, it's present in the home as well, on, on the black, it's a little, little bit more distracting. So I'm gonna go a little bit down, this is a, a six, and then the third jersey does the same thing in an orangey red tone, again, shadow strapping in there, yeah. It's not my cup of tea, to, to, to be honest. You know, a black and orange I don't like. So I'm gonna go five here and we're done with Spezia and with this video. In any case, I would like to hear your, your opinion. As I said, two really big teams in there that have very interesting shirts. So I really would like to hear what you thought uh, about those and all the other in this video. Um, tell me if you agree or disagree. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, especially part three. I will talk to you soon with that one. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.